Kids, our final part here of unit three is going to be this Magpie chatbot lab. If we click on here, we can see that since 2014 15, this course has to have at least 20 hours of hands on a lab at time. And there's three labs recommended. One of them is this Magpie. And in 2019, four more labs were created. If we go over here, we click on this. We can see some of the different labs over here, the Magpie included. That's what we're going to do, kids. So we're going to stick with that one. We're going to be doing most of it because honestly, kids, it's really not that bad. It's pretty easy. And if you want to do the official AP one, if you click on this, it'll take you here and it's going to step through all the information. And while this will certainly go through it on RuneStone, it'll be a little different here on AP, but we'll arrive to the same outcome. So what is Magpie? Well, this lab allows you to work with the string class and conditionals with a chatbot. Chatbot is a computer program that tries to hold conversations with the user. This chapter will walk you through the activities in the Magpie chatbot lab, and it does a pretty good job, kids. I think this is actually a pretty interesting lab. First thing we're gonna do here, and we're gonna spend some time in class doing this, is we're going to explore some existing chatbots. Kids, I know I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to. We're going to stick to the PG chatbots out there. I know if you go exploring, you're going to find some interesting ones out there, but this is a safe for school environment, kids. So let's keep our chatbots the same. If your adults would blush if they heard it, it's probably something we want to stray away from. There's going to be an activity on classroom that's going to have you fill out some stuff. And that's what you're going to do for this first lesson. Let's go ahead and jump to the next part. So this lesson really is a combination of all three things we've done this lesson. It's a little bit of a random number. We're going to get that in some responses if it doesn't get a keyword that it wants. It's like the 20 questions because it's going to have a tree that's going to kind of go back and forth depending on what the user says. And it's a lot like the choose your own adventure one because we're going to get the user input to actually create our story. So we're going to kind of bring all three of these activities together as one. Really not learning anything new kids. So don't worry, we're just going to tie some of the things we have been doing in. The College Board activity asks you to enter input using the scanner class and record the responses, but instead you can run this simplified version below and just call the get response method with each string as input is shown in the main method below. In this lab, the main method creates a magpie object called Maggie and calls its methods Maggie get greeting and Maggie get response, where the input can be one of the following strings as input as response is printed out. My mother and I talked last night. I said, no, the weather is nice. Do you know my brother? Let's go ahead and take a look at this below. We have our class magpie2. And again, this is creating our object Maggie. And it's going to have an initial greeting that's going to say, hey, let's talk here. And depending on what you say, it's going to do a couple different things. If you have a response of no, it's going to say, why so negative? If your response for some reason has something that says mother, father, sister, brother, it's gonna say, tell me more about your family. Other, it's gonna get a random response. And what's random response? Well, it is a, integer here, which is the number of responses, which equals a four. So number of responses is four. And we're going to do just our random number. So r times four. So just like we have been doing, we're just instead of putting numbers, we're using our variables. So you just input the variables. And our response is either going to be one of these, which is going to be interesting. Tell me more. Hmm. Do you really think so? You don't say just like that. We go down here, 
We have another one, and we have some random greetings down here. My mother and I talked last night. I said, no, the weather is nice. Do you know my brother? So we have these responses here for mother, father. We have our little code visualizer here, and this will kind of help you step it through, kids. And as you see, it can just step through the responses. We're not going to take the time to go through this right here because I think jumping into the regular code is probably a little more interesting. Let's go ahead and run this part right here to see what's actually happening. Here we are over in Replit. We're going to fork this because we're going to play around with this code a little later. I want to make my own. Remember, kids, make sure you have a good name that you understand. Let's go ahead and hit run. And remember, if we were looking through some of the code, if I do no, it should say, why so negative? If I do just do anything, I should get a random response. You don't say, which is down here. We can do one. You don't think so. Hmm. We should get an interesting up here. Tell me more. So these, if it doesn't get any of the keywords it's looking for so far, it's just printing off these random things. I love my mother. Tell me more about your family. She is nice. Do you really think so? Then we're back down to these responses, kids, because it's not one of the ones we want. Let's say just my brother is a meanie and kids, he is such a meanie. It says, tell me more about your family. So you see, we're pretty limited in the responses we can get here. And really, it just depends on what we're getting. So unless it says mother, father, sister, brother, you're really getting just one of these random responses. So we have two little trees going on. Pretty interesting, pretty cool if you ask me. Let's go ahead and hop back to runestone. Kids, we're gonna work on our exercise here. Alter the code above in your own IDE. Again, we're gonna be using a replit for ours. Have respond, tell me more about your pets when the statement contains the word dog or cat. Statement, I like cat mittens, tell me more about your pets. Have it respond favorably when it sees your name of your teacher. Oh, that's me kids. Be sure appropriate pronouns are there. For example, a possible statement response could be, Mr. Finkelstein is telling us about robotics. A better one is Mr. Rhodes is telling us about robotics. He sounds like a good teacher. Oh, they're not talking about me, kids. Have the code check the statement has at least one character. Can you do this by using the trim method to remove spaces from the beginning and end and then checking the length of the trimmed string? Hmm. If there are no characters, the response should tell the user to enter something. For example, a possible statement response would be statement. Nothing there. Response. Say something, please. Add two more non-committal responses to the possible random responses. Pick three more keywords such as no, brother, and edit the get response method to respond to each of these. What happens when more than one keyword appears in a string? Try the input, my mother has a dog but no cat. Which response did you get? Was it the one about the family? or the one about the pets, or a negative one for no. Change the order of your if else if statements to make it so that one of the responses is selected and try running it again. Ooh, that sounds fun, kids. Here's our actual code here, my little friends, and this is what we're actually going to be working on for this question above. We're actually going to be doing this in Replit here. We're actually going to be copying and pasting most of this code. Let's jump over and see what Replit looks like real quick here, kids, by clicking on this link. Kids, we're over here in Replit. 
And you're going to notice it looks a little different than usual. We have our main, but we also have another program here that's going to run. So our main program, let's take a look at it. You can see we're creating a new instance of Maggie called Magapi, which is this over here. And Maggie is going to get our statements. And when it gets our statements, it's going to go into this program right here. It has an exit statement, the while if we see by printed. So if the statement does not equal by, then we're going to get this goodbye. But one thing I want you to notice here, kids, it is case sensitive. If I type in by, I get a different statement than I do here. So just keep that in mind as we go through this. You can see we have the same code here. This is all the same things that we just went over. So again, no should get why so negative. Mother, father, sister, brother should get something. And then if it's none of those, it'll get four of these responses. Let's go ahead and try some things that we had to look at here. Well, what do we have to do? Well, the one thing is we want to add a statement in telling us more about your pets. So if we have something that deals with cat, we're going to have some different response. If you look up here, pretty much what we got to do here is add another else if statement. So we're just going to keep adding to these. We have our dangling else at the end. That's okay. We're going to come down here. We're just going to give it a couple lines. Tab over. Turn off for another if else if statement in here. And this one, we want to have it say something about cat. So I'm going to do cat lowercase, cat uppercase, because I know some of you kids, cat lowercase and cat uppercase. And then detects one of these. I want it to say, tell me more about your pets. We need an exclamation point there, kids. So if we hit stop and we hit run, we hear let's talk. So if we hit mother, we should get tell me more about your family. If I do cat, tell me about your pets, cat, cat, cat. So anything in there and any word I change in there, let's say I do roads. Now, if I do roads, oops. Ooh, got to be capital kids. Remember, tell me about your pets. So that one right there just takes care of adding a statement about pets. Let's add a statement about your amazing teacher, Mr. Rhodes. I know this one's going to be a super hard kids. So again, I'm just going to add another else if statement because we're doing something. And this one is going to be if we get the Rhodes or I'm going to do lowercase Rhodes or how some of you kids butcher my name, Rhodes, like that. So I just want those three. I'm not going to do this last one. I'm just going to keep it there. One thing I will tell you is we need to end this statement. So we need a parentheses right there for that one. So just keep that in mind. Make sure it looks like the other one. We're just putting some or statements in there. And then this one, if it says something with Rhodes, tell me more about your amazing CS teacher. I bet he is amazing. No lies all there, kids. So if we hit stop and run, now again, if I do cat, tell me about your pets. And if I do roads, tell me more about your amazing CS teacher. And we can keep adding statements to this. Let's try one with a bunch of statements. Rhodes has a cat and a brother. Tell me more about your family. Hmm. So the last statement dangled there. Tell me more about your family, the last one. Let's reverse this. Brother has a cat called Rhodes. Tell me more about your family. So Rhodes' brother about just Rhodes and then Rhodes cat. So it doesn't matter what I use. Mother cat, we should get, tell me more about your family. Cat mother, tell me more about your family. So again, it's just going towards that. Let's do 
Cat Rhodes, tell me more about your pet. So it's picking up the first statement in each one of these. So just remember order matters. It's gonna to go to the first one and it's gonna select that one if we have more than one word. So keep that in mind as you go. Kids, at this point, you're going to go through and you're gonna add two more statements. They can be whatever you want. So if we just come in here and add it and we can do something else, let's do kids. I know you're gonna make fun of me but we're gonna put my favorite game in because you know I am a huge Fortnite nerd, kids. Let's do what other words are in Fortnite that we can do. Well, you know who I always play with, kids. And then new season. And of course, kids, let's talk like we just mic'd up. Brah. You like Fortnite? Minecraft is better. So if it sees any of those terms now, it should get one of those. So hello, let's talk. I like Fortnite. Bra, you like Fortnite? Mine's better. Rhodes, tell me more about your amazing CS teacher. So again, if we did Rhodes Fortnite, we should get the Rhodes statement. Oh no, the road statement is second kids. Look down here, I put the Fortnite above it. Now, if I did cat or Fortnite cat, I should get on this one, the cat one. So as we're going. Kids, the last part we have to do here is we have to have a response for when there is nothing said. Now in here, they're using the trim method. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do it a little different way. You are more than welcome to do that, but mine is just going to check for no characters. How are we gonna do that? Well, right now we're checking for no, and this is gonna happen. And really what we can do is just make this an else if statement like everything else. So I'm just gonna transform that to an else if statement. I'm gonna bring it in line with this, come down here. So coming back to our answer here, what happens if keywords includes in another one? Well, it's always gonna to go to the first keyword. All the capitals, or I like vegetables. Well, if it's coded right to the capitals, the capitals will come first. So whatever statement is first is right, right here, kids. This is just a code we copied over, nothing crazy. And that's it, kids. That's it for the first part of creating your Magpie chatbot. We're going to be adding tons to it. We have two more parts, but this is just getting it going so we have some conversations. Hopefully you found this helpful in setting up your Magpie. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, kids, I'll see you on the next video.